Good evening and welcome back to Factory Town. I have added a few more barns here for rails because I want to store more. They can store a thousand rails each barn, so we've now got three thousand stored. Plus we whatever we got there. Um I'm actually gonna change this up here. So th this uh list um grid of items up here can be changed to show other items that you want to change them so um we don't want to show omni stones because we don't care about omni stones right now they're not important so i'm going to click this i'm going to scroll down i'm going to find metal rails and we click that and that will tell me how many metal rails i have rails far more important far more important i don't have any gears i don't think i need gears wheels we do need as well because they're used for things here uh, stuff like leather and cloth not particularly important um uh you you things up here you'd use for if you're actually building stuff so like for instance metal conveyor belts how many metal conveyor belts do we have not a clue it tells me down there 458 but it doesn't tell me up here so let's change up some of these let's change cloth to metal conveyor belts that'll help with that there um um i don't generally look up here but the, the first time i notice something's wrong is when i'm dragging out the ghost you don't have enough of them I'm like oh okay we're going to deal with that but eh, it's, it's nice to see things up there going on there so i have left the game running for quite a while we're now up to almost 300,000 red uh yellow 170 red and 150 blue almost um we are on 10,000 industrial science not so much the research is a natural research is a little bit behind magic is also very behind um i left the game running for a very long time and messed up this the workshop here only had one worker in it so we weren't getting any books in so yeah messed that right up there i've also you notice put in all our houses there's two more houses here um these houses are level six bearing in mind the only buy um cloaks from here and the mana books so um yeah so that's 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 what they were so they're doing well these ones are level eight and these levels they're doing well the houses over here however i put those two down there uh well i put the rest up here and then those two down there so they're all built at roughly the same time the houses up here you can see are all level eight and um just dinged just ding level eight by the looks of it these are level uh six about halfway through so about a level and a half behind them but this is obviously selling things that are worth more experience than over here we're selling stuff over here that isn't um as good as as good a products if that makes sense so um we are selling uh in basic foods we're selling fish which gives five experience that gives 10 experience and that gives 15 experience so that's okay it's kind of the best we can do food wise for basic food at least anyway um i, I do think that cookies cook beef is the best one there is actually uh, actually no it's cheese um, which for some reason is going off the top of the screen not sure why there but cheese is worth 25 experience so um but uh this is fine this is fine this is this is this this is working this is working uh based off these here i hope it might not be working um now i actually think about it uh no they're all still done there so it is it is producing enough to keep all the town folks happy all the time so our happiness is capped up we are so close to getting the next happiness it's good but so basic food basic food is okay Okay, these houses are level 10, they're done there. Uh, water's water, that's fine. Uh, I didn't get these to the water. Did I? Did I, did I, did I? Go underground. No, I did not. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Give me a another well. Uh, put it there. Go underground. Uh, let's build ourselves a... Hmm? Wait, what? We don't have any fluid pipes. Why do we not have any fluid pipes? Where were we storing fluid pipes? Here. Why are you not got any fluid pipes? I took your workers out of there. Why did I take the workers out of there? I think I shut some of these down because I didn't want to make the cloth this way anymore, the belts this way anymore. I wanted to make them the other way. So instead of making them this way, we would make them this way we get rid of those cloth conveyor belts put on so yeah and i didn't do this over so let's do this now so let's delete that let's get rid of that guy uh, we no longer need that guy running we no longer need that guy running which means we can get rid of this road here and um, let's put 
the uh, road over the top again. Uh, yeah, actually, actually, to be honest with you, um, uh, delete. Put the road on the defect. Uh, let's delete all these. But pipes in there. Okay. So what if we removed all this here? And then we put in a conveyor belt there. And you are gonna grab blue pipes and you are going to make um, not plaques. No, just fluid pipes. That's what you do. You make fluid pipes for us. Okay. There you go. Okay. So, and then you will um, be filtered. Um, oh, can I clear the filters on these? I can't remember how you clear the filters. Uh, I think you just set them to none. Yeah. Just set them to none. There's no way to do it quickly. There's no... Uh, like quick clear filter thing, boom, ba -dum, ba -dum. and then I'm just going to filter the whole thing to be uh, pipes like that, um, and they're all in power, but that's fine. Ba -dum, there you go. So you can store 200 pipes. Um, that'll do. That'll do. Okay, let's get rid of this here. Let's get rid of that there. That's no longer needed. You are purely running on here. You make gears and you make belts all on your own. Uh, we could absolutely move you and put you over here. Um, which I'm going to do. Which I'm going to do. Okay, do a little bit of rearrange. Let's get rid of the carrots. Let's get rid of these trees as well. We don't need these. Yeah, no, we've got no forester in there, so. Okay. Um, you uh, are going to get deleted, I'm afraid. I'm very sorry. Very sorry, but you are indeed going to get deleted. Uh, I'm then going to copy the road. Run that down to there. And then delete the last two on the end there. Also, what I should do, um, I think I need to do this. No, you are just in the influence. Okay, so that, that road is actually reaching that mine, so that's fine. That means we can get rid of this road. Reattach that one. And I'm pressing Q. Q is the uh, copy button. When you ask someone press Q, you copy it. So um, I'm pressing Q to copy things for those that are wondering. Um, we can put you there. We can put you there. That in a new thing it can be on the floor like that and you are going to grab metal conveyor belts and we unpause that and then we'll grab a belt there and you are going to grab iron plates which is fine yep we're keeping some iron plates for ourselves so that's fine um so yeah and then you'll just do your thing you will just do your thing it takes a little bit longer to get a gear than it does to get anything else but that's fine yeah, and now we no longer need that wagon going back and forwards, so that speeds up production there. Gives ourselves some more space as well to do things. Um, I could absolutely rearrange this here and have some more space here, so we've got more space on the edge here. And what do we want to do with this more space? Well, we want to start setting stuff that's better. So, that's what I was getting to earlier on. Um, and I stopped because I wanted to build um, wells. That was the end of that. So, let's, um, let's build this here. So, now we've got 163 fluid pipes there. Uh, let's put fluid pipes up on the list here as well because they are quite useful um, along with stuff like other pipes and things we've got coal and iron here that I think I showed this off before so uh, what I'm going to do in fact I'm going to move the metal belts to here I'm going to move the rails to there because they are like distance things um, I'm going to put up here I'm going to put omni pipes mana pipes steam pipes normal pipes Okay, I'm going to put uh, wheels like that, and I'm going to change this one to be the mana brick. So mana brick is also important because it is stuff to build. So all of the items on this top rail here are things that we actually build in the world, and these two here as well. So we use wood, planks, stone, stone brick, iron plates, reinforced planks, mana bricks. Uh, they're all to build buildings with. You construct buildings with all those. The wooden wheels, not so much, but the metal wheels, definitely. Um, and then the pipes and things are useful, useful for underground usage. So there, uh, not the, the research. Generally, I don't need to see it up here. It's not all that important because if you ever have research available down here, you have a little book symbol with a exclamation mark going, you have new research available. That only shows 
if you actually have enough research to research something so if, if i didn't have any of this research to, to available so i didn't have enough uh, nature to do this it wouldn't show it for instance it wouldn't show the uh, the research so and i'm holding off doing the researches because i kind of want to use the buildings we have right now and then make sure everything's done and then we'll go okay so we need something else let's research the thing and go rather than just go click 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 we research all the things fantastic and now i go build um and i've got a million buildings in here so so yeah um anyway let's actually uh connect these up here now so bomb 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 uh and then uh do you know what we're going to come off of here to there and there and off of there to there and there so this has got a, the line's got to back up to feed these ones and then back up to these ones. that should be enough one two three four five six seven eight eight yeah we can do ten houses maybe just maybe that'll pop us over there we go awesome bomb click that quickly awesome so there we go we have house capacity here plus 10 now so we put even more houses down i am losing houses because of the civic thing i mentioned a few episodes ago that draven uh not draven um sorry my brain has failed on the name then uh was it draven it wasn't draven draven was doing i don't know who it was i'm very sorry um Uh, do let me have a quick I've actually got it open it's a miracle it's a miracle um Brandon Brandon sorry I'm mixing up Brandon and Draven how weird my apologies um Brandon Harbour um mentioned about the civics research uh we're losing 20 houses we're down by 20 houses I mentioned that before as well but um but I wanted to make sure I got the name correct um that's okay that's okay if we need the houses later on we can edit the rules and do things and we, we can play our way we can play our way so let's now click these buildings here look at the happiness here so you've got water you've got that you have no hardware right hardware is the red coins we want to get the hardware going and we want to get clothing going so what's the best hardware we can sell now there's two things here you got to look at not just the best hardware move that over there put it down there for a minute actually uh let's open up our um supply system as well uh so i can drag this out here and then in supply we can scroll down and we can have a look so warm coats is the best coins however warm coats is clothing the best hardware this is all listed in order um if i actually scroll up it's listed in order not just the yellow coins but it's listed in order of category so um you see this is 12 this is 10 here this is all basic food that's gone here so it's not listed in the order you think you can't reorder this one where is the one it's goods isn't it goods is the uh the one i want that one. ah that closes all the other windows yes of course okay that's fine that's fine Boom. so yeah so this is the one you can put in order of things so we can put it in order of uh yellow coins but also we can put it in order of goods and that's where it does this weird you know, 12 and and things like that so it doesn't put it in order of coins generally the lower you go the better it is uh but it's not always the case so if you put it in order of coins and we scroll down the best thing for yellow coins we can sell is gourmet but then there's also luxury and there's magic supplies and there's food so we could sell for yellow coins four different categories at the highest coin rating so the best coin rating in basic food is cheese the best coin rating in magic supplies that we can see for yellow coins is this magic supplies covers more than one coin type though so you've got to kind of be a bit careful it is a shame i can't do like it's annoying that when i do that it doesn't keep the yellow coin things but um so if i come down here and i go uh right so i want like red coins for instance um luxury magic hardware and then clothing the clothing is 24 the hardware is 25 we want to sell pickaxes but i don't really want to sell pickaxes because pickaxes are useful for construction we need them for the mines and things so warm coats however are very good cloaks are still good as well but they are that there. so uh, what's the next one reinforced planks we could sell pickaxes we could keep some pickaxes to a side we are making them already um yeah making them here how about we just this let's change this guy to be pickaxes and we'll change this one to uh not be output so we always keep some pickaxes behind for us and then we're going to sell the rest so i'll upgrade this all the way but there you go so we'll keep 250 pickaxes for us which we need to mine things we'll sell the rest of them and we'll keep um 500 planks because reinforced planks 
you use to build things. So like the reinforced planks are used to build the mine, the mine pickaxes and reinforced planks. So we need some of those there. So let's sell the pickaxes that we're already making here. Let's also look at whether we might want to speed up some stuff here. Where where are we? So you're you're doing the pickaxes, aren't you? Yeah. Can we speed you up in any way, shape, or form? Um because you're doing both, you're doing reinforced planks and pickaxes, so you could desperately do things. Let's add a steam booster. Do it. Double steam booster. Let's go underground. Let's go to our steam layer. Let's see, we've got steam here. Let's uh I'm gonna pause the game a moment here because I'm gonna play with inputs and outputs and I wanna not break anything. So if I drag a steam pipe from let's take the center one to there. I come back here. See it set to input and output. I don't want that. I don't want it to output anything. You can only output steam onto this one here, but just in case, I want to change this back to an input only. Okay. Now you'll notice that everything's opened up better because it's no longer auto configured. So everything opens up here because we force it to input. The default settings are fine for this. We want it to bypass. So I want it to input into here. And then when it's full, bypass to the next one. So that's fine. That's what I want. Um, and I do that pause there because. If you're messing about with pipes, if you ever want to mess about with a connector with a pipe of any type of pipe, um, I would highly recommend pausing the game, doing everything, getting it set up how you want, then unpausing it. Otherwise, you may get something in your pipe you wasn't expecting. So beware. Beware. Also, I don't think this can actually deal with this properly. So it's got a double booster. I don't think we're producing enough steam to get this all going. Although, that being said, uh, you're doing steam pipes and you're not running anymore. You're doing nails not really running anymore, but you are doing iron plates and are desperately running. So we might have to work on this and expand this and things. I'm kind of shoehorning things in. So, but okay. So now you getting a steam boost, which means you're now up to 4.8 a second of power. So that means that this is running so much faster now. Awesome, awesome. We could add a red coin booster, but we want to keep our red coins because red coins are used to flatten the map. So, um, we want to keep the red coins so yeah yellow coins not so much we could spend some yellow coins somewhere but we don't really need to this could do with an upgrade so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna add a yellow coin booster to this um and then i'm gonna come down to the coins down here production um it's very annoying that pins it so i'm gonna pin it open so the little nail there pins it pins it open he says it doesn't look like it's actually doing anything uh oh uh oh um Right, hold on. Production. Pin. Oh, it is working. It's just not highlight. Okay, strange. Um, so yeah, sometimes you have to pin things if you want to open up windows. Some windows close, some windows open together. It's I, I don't know the rules behind that, but um let's go to 30 seconds. Um let's have a look at our yellow coins. So over the last 30 seconds, we have produced 10.13 a second. Ten and a half a second. So um yeah, that's average over 30 seconds. So 10 a second average. We are spending 0.5. Let's increase this. We're now spending one a second. Okay, we can afford that. We're now going to go down to nine a second. We can afford that because we're spending more. Yellow coins are used for planting crops and deleting crops. So if I go to the resource remove tool, you'll see it says down there it costs 10 to remove a tree. Um, it's free to remove crops. By the looks of it. Um, interesting i think i think some of the crops that we put in it costs money to do but uh crops are free trees are a 10 um uh like um 25 to remove coal and um, that sort of thing so it costs money to remove things it also costs money to plant things so if i wanted to plant some grain it costs 10 gold to plant grain or i said gold yellow coins sorry um so you need to be you need to make sure you're not spending it all we've still got an input so that's fine we don't worry about that plus you gotta remember the yellow coins only actually get used if this is running so if this fills up its output the yellow coin booster will stop running so you could run at a slight deficit if you know this won't be overloading so yeah um let's also upgrade our yeah what i should do is um uh i should have a thing set up and then there go up to there there 
you are no longer working because we turned you off. I do want you to have iron wheels still. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this all up, take this here, so um, clear this out, and then we'll use that for iron gears. We might even move it down here because it doesn't need to be that far away, but it's, it's fine. I don't need stone, didn't it, for the rails, but we're not using it for rails anymore, so that's fine. Right, going back to where I was saying about before, where I should set something up. In our base, this is where all the items that we delete get put in there. So when I replace cloth conveyors with metal ones, the cloth conveyor belts end up in the town centre. I should have an output from here, realistically, which then takes out some of the items that we know we can reprocess. So, like, iron ore should come out and go over to the iron ore places. Um, coal should come out and go to the coal places. Um, there's other bits and pieces in here. Your base will end up getting full of just rubbish that you will eventually end up just deleting. You can click on one of these and go delete, and just, it's gone. Okay? You can do that. You can just get rid of them, though. I don't think your town centre can fill up, either. Like, I think it just, it always generates new slots. Um, it can store a maximum based on its level, but when you delete items, you can exceed that maximum. You just then cannot put more items in there manually. So, bear that in mind if you're, if you're using it to fill up, like, um, planks and stuff, if you're using it for storage for planks or wood or whatever. Um, which I've done before. I've had um, uh, a town centre, uh, because it's got massive storage, had a town centre with a, a, a forest next to it, just filling it with wood and planks. Um, if you delete a plank, it could go into the town centre and it could see, say the maximum is 400, it could go up to 4, 500, 600, even though the maximum is 400, you then just couldn't input anything more to it so it goes down below, which is not a bad thing. You can obviously aim, uh, manually export things from here with belts and stuff, so you could take out the clock conveyor belts, convert them up to metal conveyor belts. Not that fussed about it for the moment. I probably will do that at some point, but I'll do it manually with a, um, like a, we'll have a wagon go back and forwards, but... Okay, so, right, bum -ba -dum -ba -dum. this is working, this is fine, you are filling, you are doing your thing just very slowly, that's fine, um, this ideally should be, should be better, I should really have two, um, factories here, uh, one making pickaxes, one making wooden planks, um, so, but we're doing one here, uh, so we want to sell these, uh, we're not going to sell them yet because there's no thing to sell in there, um, we're going to get another general store. You can have uh, as many general stores as you like, I believe. There used to be a limit, but there isn't anymore. So you can have as many as you like. So we can slap a general store in here. We can do a metal conveyor belt and then go page up, page up. And we can go, hey, would you take pickaxes? When this fills with pickaxes, it will then start filling this one. And this one will then sell to this guy here and that will sell for red coins so we get more red coins coming in which is awesome it also will increase our happiness because they want they have no hardware right now at all so um we'll get pickaxe in that's plus two happiness this can have up to four so we want to sell something else we could also sell planks um should we do that my only concern with that is that then if the planks are never backed up it might be a problem with uh this this is this is a little too slow to be selling all the stuff to it but i think it's okay i think it's okay i think we'll leave it for a i probably i would like to increase this to speed this up also i want to i'd like to figure out exactly how much we need to to make to to spend if that makes sense so you know um let's just very quickly uh do more talking now and not do more building but um we have to wait for this to fill to do things here so um let's say we want to sell uh, pickaxes to the population so a pickaxe is 90 seconds oh a pickaxe is um said that well consumption time of 90 happiness is 120 so 120 plus 90 means it's 210 seconds we have to feed a pickaxe to a house every 210 seconds we have potentially 50 houses divide by 50 we need to make one pickaxe every 4.2 seconds and deliver it to the general store, not just here, but also to the other place as well. Um, so we need to make one pickaxe every 4.2 seconds and deliver them around to the places they need to go to. You make one pickaxe in 12 seconds. Now you are running at 4.8, but then you've got to divide that by the two here. That becomes complicated because um, the work, you, I mean, it, it's fine so long as this continues to run. If this ever stops, that will start speeding up. Um, and then it will slow down for that one there, so it's confusing. But right now it's fine. So instead of um, 
12 seconds, we're, we're actually doing two things here, so we're splitting the workload between two. So that means you'll take 24 seconds. Okay. Uh, 24 seconds divided by 4.8 because that's the current work speed. So I've doubled it because we've got two recipes and then I'm dividing it by the total work time. You could also divide it by half the work time as well. That would be the same result. But, um, uh, turns out we're making a pickaxe once every five seconds. And we need one every 4.2. So we're pretty close. We're pretty close. Once this barn fills up with pickaxes, we're pretty close to actually delivering all the pickaxes we need to keep people happy. Now, they will consume more than that because they can actually consume a pickaxe. They must be very hungry. Once every 120 seconds, uh, once every 90 seconds. But they only need one once every 210 seconds to keep the happiness up with them. To keep this, this plus two here, you need one every 210 seconds. However, you can feed one every 90 seconds and get the red coins. There. So the 90 seconds is the fastest and you add the two numbers together for the slowest. If you want to keep the happiness duration, uh, yeah, you add two that. So once the consumption time finishes, the 90 seconds finishes, then the happiness duration starts. So you add the two together. It's not one every 120 seconds, it's the two added together. So, so yeah, so, so we're actually close. For 40 houses, we don't have 40 houses here, we have 12 over here. So I think we'll be able to keep all the happiness of the people here going with pickaxes. So happy days happy days they can get their pickaxes and they can go and be dwarves in the mine if they want to maybe they're dwarves and maybe they want to go diggy diggy hole who knows either way i'm gonna leave this running and we will get our pickaxes we will sell them we will get some more money and we will come back next episode and continue from there thank you very much for watching everybody i hope you have enjoyed this one I hope to see you again in the next one and until then as always have fun